This eye is about to get lasered. This is PRK. This patient has chosen photorefractive keratectomy because she doesn't want to deal with glasses anymore. I'm going to show you the whole procedure from start to finish. Most videos show you just what the surgeon sees, but we took pains to show you both the surgeon and the patient at the same time. If you're short on time, the actual surgery starts here. Have you ever considered PRK or photorefractive keratectomy, but were nervous about what the procedure would be like? I'll be honest. Scraping off the surface layer of skin of your eyeball and then applying a laser to physically reshape the cornea underneath does indeed sound a little jarring, even to me, and I'm the one performing this procedure. In this video, we'll watch a PRK procedure from start to finish, and this will give you a good idea of what to expect if you or someone you know is planning to get this procedure done. The PRK procedure stands for photorefractive keratectomy, and it's a procedure done to remove the need for glasses and contacts. You'll be able to hear what I say to the patient from start to finish throughout the procedure, and then you'll be able to decide at the end if you think this procedure is amazing or terrifying or both. Hi, I'm Dr. Roxanne Lee, a board-certified comprehensive ophthalmologist, cataract and refractive surgeon. I hope you enjoy these fun behind the scenes views of my job and the amazing world of eyes. If there's a certain part of the PRK laser surgery that you're particularly interested in, make sure you check out the time codes in the description of the video so that you can jump to them more easily. Let's dive in. I'm going to be watching this surgical video with you and commenting on what's going on. So we're going to do that right eye first and then the left eye follows afterward. So I will provide commentary for that first eye and then the second eye will just let the video play so you can hear the normal sounds of the procedure. So this patient is lying down on our surgical bed. We are here in our refractive laser suite and the first thing we do is apply Tegaderm patches to cover and protect the upper and the lower eyelids and eyelashes. It's very natural for patients to try to squeeze their eyes or blink during the procedure and this is why protecting those lids and lashes is so important because when you blink you actually squeeze out some oily secretions from your meibomian glands which can dirty the surgical field. It can mess up the view and also affect the outcome of the procedure so we want to make sure that those lashes are nicely protected. And the patient has a lid speculum that goes underneath her upper and lower eyelids and this will help to very gently keep those lids open so she doesn't need to worry about blinking, opening or closing the eyes. Once everything is nice and centered, I have instructed the patient to just look straight ahead at the light in front of her. And the instrument I'm holding is a corneal well. With gentle downward pressure onto the eye, it creates a watertight seal between the well and the cornea. And we fill that well, we fill that potential space with 20% alcohol and leave it on the eye that is focusing that treatment right on the surface of the cornea. The well will not allow that alcohol to spread out and cover the rest of the eye. When it's ready, I will remove that alcohol from the center of the well with a Wexel sponge. That sponge will swell up as it absorbs all of that fluid. And you can see when we remove the well, we don't have alcohol spilling all over the surface of the eye. Still, we will irrigate the surface of the eye with balanced salt solution or BSS. And this is done to remove any traces of the alcohol remaining from the surface of the eye because it can cause irritation and toxicity if left at high concentrations. So with the pretreatment from the alcohol, the corneal epithelium, which is the most superficial layer of corneal skin, is much looser. And it is easily removed from the cornea with a Wexel sponge. You can see I'm just gently polishing the surface of the eye. And as I sweep that sponge, that Wexel sponge over the eye, the corneal epithelium just peels right off. 
You'll notice I'll switch between a few new wax cell sponges because as the sponge absorbs the moisture that's on the surface of the eye, it swells up and gets a little softer. So as I switch to a new one, it's more, it's more stiff and has a little bit more traction. We take our time during this part of the procedure because we want to make sure that all of those epithelial cells are removed from the eye. And I don't want to leave any little islands of skin cells that can distort the architecture of the eye and disrupt the treatment. Now that all the corneal epithelial cells have been removed from the center treatment zone of the cornea, we're aligning the eye. I usually place my hand under the patient's chin to help stabilize the head position. And here I'm going to be talking to the patient nonstop. I'm instructing her to look straight ahead at a green blinking light that will help center her treatment. And as the treatment progresses, you'll see the apex of the cornea. In this video, you see it get a little matte rather than shiny, and that is because the laser is physically ablating some of her corneal tissue, which reshapes the cornea and changes her need for glasses. Rather, gets rid of her need for glasses. You'll notice that about a half second before the treatment was done, I paused the laser. So that's because she was moving her eyes around a little bit. And the laser does have a tracking mechanism, so it will help to automatically center the treatment, even with small eye movements. But I am able to pause the treatment by taking my foot off of the foot pedal and then restart it as needed with any larger eye movements that I see necessary. This part is a sponge soaked in a medication that helps to prevent haze from the cornea, which is a complication uh, that can be seen sometimes after PRK. And we will irrigate the medicine off of the surface of the eye with a lot of balanced salt solution, BSS saline solution here, just to flush and irrigate the eye, making sure there's no medication left over. Now the corneal epithelial scraping is done, the laser reshaping of the cornea is done, the post-laser treatment with that medication to prevent haze is done, and the last step is just placing a contact lens, literally just a normal contact lens, and it will act as a physical bandage, a physical barrier to the eye that will help with both the patient's comfort and to help with those epithelial cells that are growing to heal the wound to grow smoothly over the surface of the eye. Now we remove those tegaderms and we're about to start on the left eye. That right eye is all finished. See that green light right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. And children, I'll give you a go ahead. So mm -hmm. Hold off until I say go. Alright, keep looking at that green light. Okay, we can go ahead. There's lots of pressure here. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Ten more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, pressure part's all done. We doing okay? Mm -hmm. See, it's just gonna make a couple of wick cells. Okay, look at that green light again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, do you see that green blinking light? So you're looking kind of down. Look straight ahead at that green blinking light. You see it right there? Okay. Confirm, Beautiful. Okay. Keep your center. Hold steady right there. Laser Four seconds. Four seconds. You got it. Look at that green blinking light. Don't lose them. Two seconds left. Beautiful. All right. Good job. Same as before. We're going to put a little sponge of medicine on the eye. And look at that green light, and then I will cover your vision, okay? So just hang tight right there. And then I mix up and lots of water here. Flushing, flushing. Feeling okay? Straight ahead. Mm -hmm. All right, that's just some medicine, and we're going to get everything off the eye. You did so well. Tape's coming off. Oh, we're done. I hope you enjoyed looking over my shoulder in the refractive surgical suite. If you're thinking about LASIK or PRK, these behind the scenes views can be very informative and help familiarize yourself with what to expect on your own surgical day. If you gained anything from this video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks.